Okay, so here we have some potted orchids. So typically with potted blooming plants, um, the care is slightly different when it comes to green plants. So I'm going to talk about that first. Basically, you want to keep the soil um, moderately moist with most plants. It does tend to vary a little bit based on the specific variety. With orchids, it's a little bit different. It's in an aerated bark mulch. So they are natively growing on branches in that. So when you water them or when it rains, nothing is held in the soil or bark mulch or moss is almost what it feels like. So you want to mimic that as best as possible when you take it home. So there's a couple ways of doing that. One is keeping it in the plastic pot that it will often come in and pulling this out of the display pot that you've maybe placed it in, in your home, and pouring water into it and letting the water drain out so that it's not sitting in that stale water kind of pooling and the roots have room to breathe, which is similar to its natural environment. The other option, there's actually a couple options, the other option would be to drop an ice cube in. That way it gets a slow, continuous drink of water without you having to stand there and do that. As well, it's a more measured, controlled supply, so you're not overdoing it. Another option is you can, if you have a spray bottle, you can just gently mist that orchid at the base, making sure that you get it from all angles all the way around. Um, when you have other blooming plants that are in the soil, it's not aerated, so you have to be careful of things like overwatering. You don't want to have the plant sitting in the water. Often when you buy a plant or are gifted a plant, it will come with a little care tag because there are certain things that vary from plant to plant. Some plants like to be kept a little bit more wet than other plants. Some plants prefer to dry out before they are given a fresh supply of water. Typically when it comes to all plants, they don't like anything really drastic, same as your cut flowers, so you don't want to move it outside and then inside onto a heater beside an AC unit. You want to maintain that environment as much as possible. Um, specifically with the orchids which we have here today, they are used to a warmer environment, so you don't want to put them in a cold draft. And they'll do well if you keep them where they are, leave them alone, and don't do anything too dramatic to them. Okay, so finishing up, these are some tips and tricks to hopefully extend the blooming period of your flowering plants. Keeping in mind that they do have periods where they do go dormant, so um, paying attention to the green foliage part of the plant will let you know whether it's alive or not, so you can wait for the next blooming period where the flowers will come back.